hello friends in this video we are going to describe that how the kinematic works now you saw a red ball was moving it was not moving on its own it was moving under influence of a force and that force acted on the object for some time and it produced some acceleration and the velocity also changes accordingly in the meantime now look at this explanation this is the physics part a ball an object is at rest and a force capital F acts on it initially the displacement is zero means the ball is at the same point where the observer is and the time hasn't started means t is also zero now force acts time clock starts time starts moving ball starts rolling and then the ball reaches and covers some displacement and in the meantime time also passes and time also becomes some other value other than zero we are assuming that the coefficient of friction in this case is zero means there is no loss of energy due to friction so what happens that the velocity changes the body gains an acceleration time changes and the displacement also changes so the newton have given us three equations which are called as v equal to u plus at and since when we starting then the object was at rest or the object it can be in a motion all the possibilities are there if you look at if the observer uh, stops uh, the ball and the ball was in motion you can say it had certain velocity initially and now its velocity became zero or you can say the case number two when the ball is at rest force x and the ball comes in motion so the speed or the velocity of the ball changes from zero value to some other value so v equal to u plus at this is the equation and another equation is s equals ut plus half a t square where a is the acceleration due to gravity now and third equation is v square equals u square plus 2s equals u square plus 2x so now you see we have three equations and the five unknowns which are the v u a t and s so these five equations and the three variables they just governs the kinematics now here that I just go to the programming part so I create a class kinetics sorry kinematic and the class name is kinematic and then it will have certain variables now it depends on because in these situations what is measurable quantities are the displacement like when your displacement can be measured and the timer because these are the common devices which can help you to measure the devices so the displacement can be measured time can be measured and the initial speed of the observer can also be measured in some situations otherwise you cannot measure that also because when you have the car or uh, the bike which have some odometers in them so there you can measure so in this program we are receiving certain values from the user and these values are the parameters of the kinematics and they are applicable only in this instance of the program which i am trying to explain so i am ex uh, accepting the initial velocity the displacement and the time from the user and whatever i am starting initial velocity so self dot u equal to u self dot s equal to s and self dot t equal to t so these three variables have been initialized now we just try to find out the other uh, variables other unknowns of the kinematics which are the final velocity or the accelerations and which will be calculated based on these values so here it is so self dot t equal to 2 t self dot t equal to t now i go and say def uh, i can create another function okay one line was missing there that is self dot u equal to u 
so next function goes like the definition def velocity and uh, it will return v equal to u plus 80 but for that you need acceleration we haven't calculated the acceleration because whatever data has been input in that case the acceleration is unknown so i need another function which can calculate the acceleration so i'll go for def acceleration i'll create another class def acceleration and then How to calculate the acceleration with uh, these data u so we'll go by the second equation which is s equal to ut plus half at square and then we'll find that s minus ut whole multiplied by 2 divided by t square will be the acceleration so a will be 2 times s minus ut upon t square so now self dot s minus self dot u dot self dot t self dot u into self dot t whole multiplied by 2 so 2 multiplied by this 2 yes and then divided by t square so now just let me explain you how i got this relation look at the second equation now i'm changing the subject as a so this will become s minus ut from second equation yes obviously 2 upon t square and this is my a so a equal to 2 times s minus ut upon t square this is the equation we are using in the function to calculate the acceleration so 2 times self dot s minus self dot u into self dot t divided by self dot t self self means the variables which are the variables of the functions are called as self self dot t into self dot t okay so return statement is sufficient whenever you call this function then you can get the acceleration and yes and the velocity function needed v equal to u plus a t so self dot u plus self dot t into now call the function this acceleration self dot acceleration okay so this part is done and now this is it no other function you can define other functions also depending on what you are seeking but since you can uh, add some more functions, this is up to you but for this program for this explanation I think only these two are sufficient and um, with these four equations, you, with these three equations, you can calculate anything, literally. Because these three, what we can do in the real life, in the physics subject, what we do, we can do here also. Because we are not creating any physical law, we are just using the existing laws to calculate the program. So, this you and now I am accepting the values from the user, so I will be taking the three values or u s and t and then i'll be creating the object of the function so u has been taken s equals and then the s will be taken and t will be taken then i'll create the object of the class kinematics and then i'll pass these three values and with the help of that object i'll be calling the uh, requisite functions so now here i write the s equal to enter the displacement and um, displacement so this is done now the one more line will be required to calculate the data or to receive the data from the user better okay so that will be t means the time 
and uh, out of this the standard this u and the t are called the fundamental quantities because these quantities are measured using some physical devices so displacement can be measured as uh, using a meter scale or the ruler or the meter tape and the time can be measured using a time clock so time t equals input time elapsed between two observations when you saw the displacement was zero and then we saw the displacement was something in the meantime the time elapsed and that condition the displacement has changed from some value to another value and the velocity also changed from u to v and since we are assuming that the acceleration is uniform so we are just having one value of a in the whole uh, explanation we are not taking a variable acceleration we are taking a constant acceleration case in this program so now I create the object so okay now I create the class kinematic the object of kinematic so I write the kinematic I can say the kt equal to kinematic and then the pass these three values as the parameters of the object and which are u s and t and then i'll be receiving the values by calling those functions because both these functions were those functions which were returning a certain value so they will be returning here and we'll be printing them directly using print statement so call the print function and pass these two values so print kt and kt dot velocity it goes like this yes and then the print kt dot yeah u should be small and then print it is case sensitive language p printf kt dot acceleration okay so it should have acceleration just call, uh, we need to call this function acceleration uh, many these are the this warnings this is red line is also there what is happening somewhere we have forgotten something or what so kt dot acceleration okay fine if there are any mistake while running we can the compiler will inform us about the errors so i compiled now let me see yes now let me execute so it is just showing errors oh error is here so it should be input now this is corrected no more error and now let me run the code and then I got the results okay let me rerun the code again with another set of values okay now you see the result so let me make some changes with the printf statement so that we can understand that which value were velocity and which value were acceleration so i want to attach some string with them like the final velocity equal to value plus meter plus meter per second m by s and uh, another one is those value like the acceleration equals plus yes and then attach meter per second square at the end of the string so here it goes I enter the value velocity that is the initial velocity final and then I need to as other data 
and then the time and then let's see result yes now it's displaying properly meter per second final velocity equal to something and initial velocity is also something so now you can say this is working nicely let me run the with another different set of values so here i enter something and then you see so now you can understand and this way just keep on um, doing all these things and you'll understand that how to write the course like this thank you very much just subscribe to our channel have a very nice time